How to be a submissive wife to your husband? Submission is not self-doubt, nor is it self-abasement, helplessness, or easily controlled and degrading. Submission is a God-driven desire to please your husband as a wife. Submission says, I have willingly deployed myself to be of service to you. Ephesians 5.22 commands wives to submit to their husband as to the Lord. Number one, serve your husband in a king would standard. Understanding that you are not just serving any other person, but you are serving your Lord. You are serving your king. How you serve him, how you treat him, how you respond to him, it's very much important for you to pay attention to those little things. Number two, Make your home haven, a place where he can decompress. Many are times when men are looking for peace, for comfort, and a home is a place to find all those things. So as a wife, make sure that your home is haven. Number three, listen, pray, respond. When you listen, you pay attention to the words of your husband. When you pray, you meditate on the instructions following his words. When you respond, you then discuss what is to be carried out based on what he was talking to you about. Many are times as women, we want to do the opposite. We want to respond, to pray, and to listen. But as a submissive wife, it's important for you to understand that when you listen first, it enables you to be able to meditate to be able to respond in a positive way. Number four, let him protect you. It is the duty of a husband to protect a wife. Give him that space, give him that freedom to be your protector. Number five, it is good to give your thoughts, your opinions, but it is better to understand and to learn that your husband has the final say, has the final decision. So as a wife, you need to learn to say, I can give my opinion. I can speak to him. I can you know, share my ideas, share my thoughts. But if ever he decides something, it is my duty as a wife who is in submission to take his final say with a good heart. Number six, make efforts to take care of yourself, spiritually, physically, emotionally. Understanding that you are not just any other person, but you are your husband's soundboard. You are your family's soundboard. You are a system that needs operations to function. So as a wife, take time. Take time to make sure that you are always, at most times, in a good standard. You look good, you smell good. Emotionally, you are stable. Spiritually, you are growing yourself so that it's easy for you to be that soundboard that your husband will need at all times.